Hello and welcome to a special video on how to track your visitors to your website. So when someone visits your website, this should be a way of tracking your visitors and I'm going to show you. Now the first thing that you need to do is head over to one of my favorite um, counters which is called statcounter.com. Okay. So I'll just click on stat counter link okay and the one thing I'm gonna do is now is register on this website so I'm gonna click on register now okay what you need to do now is basically you need to enter your username your email your password and your details and then just click on a register account once you've done that um, you log in and enter your password so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna log in to this website Okay, as you can see, I'm logged in, and what you want to do is head over to where it says New Project, and click on Add New Project. Okay, and once you've done that, just enter your website title, so my website, and enter your website URL, so www.easyaccessvideos.com forward slash test that's what we're going to do, we're going to test the URL for this and then you select a category so for example entertainment marketing um, yeah, I usually leave this as default, these settings and I just click on next ok, next what you need to do is this should take you to another page so it should say congratulations your project has been created and then you need to just configure and install your code so you're just going to click on configure and install code once you've done that I usually head over to invisible counter and then I click on next okay I usually leave these settings alone and click on next again and then you should have your stat counter code which is here so what you need to do is you need to select your code, copy, and you need to paste that on your between the body of your web page. So we head over to our web page on the code tag. We just click on on the, after the body tag. So that will be. Just uh, let me just go back. Just after the body tag, so we'll paste the code. As you can see, this is a stat counter code, and we just click on save as. Click save. So what I'm going to do now is upload this web file to our page. Okay, here we are on our FTP. I'm going to simply upload this file. Okay, overwrite this. Once you've done that, just head over to Stat Counter, and it should start tracking your file, your page. Okay, as you can see, it's already tracked our web page. So we go go to our website, click Refresh several times, and just click the Refresh button. As you can see, it's already tracked our web page and all the information and stats appear if it's blue that means it's unique visitors if it's green that means it's just page loads and if it's orange that means it's returning visitors okay that's the one way of checking your um, tracking your visitors the second way is using your host so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over to my host and I'm gonna show you how to view your visitors Okay, here we are on logged in on our host, and as you can see, we've got various options here. We've got a variety of options. Um, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to take you to um, the page where it says Web FTP Stats. Just click on that. Okay, 
Uh, it says, in this area you can view statistics about your website. Please be aware that only latest vis visitors is the live feed. All of the statistical reports are updated every 24 hours. So basically this is kind of delayed uh, in com compared to stat counter, but it still does the same thing. So what we need to do, we need to click on all stats. Okay, once you've clicked on all stats, okay, here you can see the visitors on your website um, from certain, certain uh, days so January I've got here unique visitors to the domain 19, 18, 20 and so on okay and as you can see at the bottom it's just got various other stats for example keywords what people type in to find your web page etc so this is pretty good when it comes to checking your stats analyzing visitor information for your website okay I hope you enjoyed watching this video, I hope you learned something new and I hope you go ahead and start adding stat counter and start using all stats for your website. Thank you very much.